Did your pastor violate Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25 recently? Hebrews 10, verse 25 says, Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. We're going to talk more about this verse here in a little bit. But uh, this coronavirus thing, did your pastor shut the church down and go to live stream only? Then how was he submitting to that verse of Scripture? Hmm? Um, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. It doesn't say, well, we can assemble online or something like that through online streaming or whatever else because he had to shut the church building down. Okay? Um, we'll talk more as we continue here. Uh, not going to be a real long video, a real big doctrinal type of a thing, but what's going on there? Well, I'm going to give you another verse of Scripture that discusses your pastor and why he shut down when the government told him to do it. It doesn't say not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together unless there's an order from the federal government. Then you should. It doesn't say that. John chapter 10. And by the way, if your pastor shut down um, the church building, not only did he violate Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25, he also violated the First Amendment if you're here in America. So what's the First Amendment? Congress shall make no law regarding the establishment of religion, of a religion I think it says, or prohibiting, prohibiting the free exercise thereof. So the government gave an unconstitutional order, and if your pastor submitted to it, he violated Hebrews 10.25 and the Constitution. Why did he do it? John chapter 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Speaking about Jesus Christ. And here's your pastor. Verse 12, But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. How many pastors out there in this country, in America, and other countries as well, were big and bold and bad, and nobody's ever going to tell me to shut my church down and everything else? And all of a sudden, the government comes along and says, shut your church down so people don't get the coronavirus. Not even that dangerous when you really study the science behind this coronavirus thing. It's essentially the flu that's a little bit more contagious. You know, 80 to 90 percent of the people that have gotten it have recovered. The only people that died were people that had pre-existing health conditions. Okay? So, you know, um, you know, it's something that... that uh, it's really not even that dangerous. And yet your pastor shuts down because the federal government told him to do so. I thought that's separation of church and state. Isn't that weird? And I love these, these uh, post-trib pastors too that, that uh, you know, they're, they're coming along. They're not going to take the mark of the beast and we'll fight the forces of the Antichrist. We're going to fight against this. Government says shut down. They say, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Heil Hitler. Yes, sir. You know. And yet they're going to be there to, to lead their congregation and say, don't take the mark. Right, right, right. Okay. Now, let me just kind of go back here. All right. Because I said Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, and I applied it to churches today. Why? Because churches will apply it to people like myself. You see, I believe in what the New Testament actually teaches, that Christians don't worship in buildings. Okay. In terms of calling it a church building. You want to meet in a building, an upper room or whatever, like they did in the early part of the book of Acts, Acts chapter 1. Fine, there's not a problem with that. Um, I'm not against Christians fellowshipping together, Christians getting together to worship the Lord. That's fine, absolutely fine. But to build a building and call it a church and then incorporate it under governmental control, here in America it's 501c3, IRS status, which means it's an official tax-exempt you know, organization. And now the government's making new little things for that too. That's another issue. But churches have put themselves under governmental authority. And then they claim that house church Christians like myself are not legitimate. When all that you see in the Bible in the New Testament are house church Christians. And we understand dispensationally that Hebrews chapter 10.25 is not even written to us. It's written to Jews in the time of Jacob's trouble. But see... The reason I made this video is because a lot of church building preachers condemn you if you worship at home. If you worship the Lord at home in the past, if you've been doing it for years and years and years because you understand there's no scripture saying I have to go to church. 
That appears nowhere in the King James Bible. Go to church. It's not in there. Okay? If you realize that, these church building preachers will come out and they'll attack you and they'll say, you're violating Hebrews chapter 10.25. And we are not violating Hebrews 10.25. And yet as soon as the federal government tells them to violate it, they do just like that. They snap to attention. Yes, sir. We'll shut down immediately, sir. It only reopens so we can make masks for the medical establishment or some other kind of a thing in government service. They shut down the church so you can't worship, but then they'll turn around and have government service there. They'll do things for the government. They're fake. They're frauds. If your pastor at your church shut down, he violated the First Amendment and he violated Hebrews 10.25 according to his own standards, leave. Don't ever go back. When it's time when the restrictions are lifted or whatever else, don't ever go back to that church building. All right? I'm going to link some videos at the end of this study to teach you the truth about what the King James Bible teaches about the issue of going to church, why it's wrong. All right? I'm going to teach you, you need to learn about the things of isolation in the life of a Christian, the thing of getting away and having developing that personal relationship with Jesus Christ that you're supposed to have, that Christians practiced. All right? You need to understand these things. The reason I made this video is to show you that the whole church building structure out there is false. It is not New Testament Christianity. That's so important to understand. All right? So, I do hope that you take some time to watch these videos. Please study this issue because it is a very, you know, very, very big issue. All right? Thank you for watching.